Former WCBI Sports Director Tom Ebel, now Public Information Officer for Collier County in Naples, Florida, he took some time out this afternoon to talk with our Chief Meteorologist Isaac Williams about the lessons his county has learned from previous storms. It's just best to prepare for the worst and just hope for the best. Um, I think that's always kind of the best thing. And you, you kind of touched on this, and I think not just from a meteorologist standpoint, but from emergency management and now your, your field that you're in, it's always good to um, see what previous storms have done so that you can, you know, take what you've learned and be better uh, positioned to serve the public going forward. In terms of Collier County, our number one threat when you talk about storms like this is always going to be adverse coastal impacts. You know, when we're dealing with the Gulf of Mexico right next door, you're talking about at least, I believe the most recent forecast was five to seven feet of storm surge. So that's water that's being pulled to the system. And then that water has got to go back somewhere. So you're talking five to seven feet above ground level. And so for here in Collier County, we are very close to surface ground level. You know, our elevation is less than 10 feet, I believe. So when you're talking feet of water that could be coming into our county, it's it can really put a strain on infrastructure. And so when we talk about storm surge, at least for our county, we've been very proactive with creating that infrastructure creating canals, creating uh, man-made stormwater pond retention areas to be able to get a handle on storm surge. But at the end of the day, you know, it's mother nature. And so we can, we're, we're as proactive as we can. And even, you know, sitting at home, you might not think five to seven feet, oh, you know, that, that's a lot of water. It could cripple infrastructure, you know, and you're talking 10 feet of water, 12 feet of water. You're talking about you know, roadways being underwater, neighborhoods getting adverse impacts in terms of, you know, up the driveway in the front door. So, you know, this week, um, the past couple of days, we've been issuing sandbags for people to be able to use in their front doors and their garages and any kind of exterior doors just in case storm surge adversely affects them. Um, that's why we're issuing the mandatory evacuation for our coastal communities, because that's where that water is going to come in. The water that goes out to the storm, you know, we're talking a category four storm potentially at this point. So it's a lot of water going out, but then that water is going to come back in. So it's uh, it's a little difficult to comprehend if you haven't, if you're not up to speed on storm surge. It's an entirely different weather scenario here north of Mississippi and West Alabama. For the latest on that, we check in with Isaac Williams for tonight's first look. Isaac.